All right, Jennifer. Um, they just announced in Austria they're going to mandate the vaccine by February. Yep. Do you think that that could possibly happen here? I think it would be very difficult here. I mean, what happened in Austria is the first step was to, they, they, they wanted a lock, uh, in a sense, they wanted a lock down the unvaccinated, so, uh, which is unbelievable. So they wanted to basically say unvaccinated people cannot leave their homes. Unvaccinated people have to be under lockdown. Uh, you can only leave your home. You know, the police would be able to stop you in the street and ask you to show a vaccine card for you to even be outside. Now, that is, of course, nuts. And I think there was such a backlash to that and the, 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 the ridiculous nature and the uh, uh, nature of that is they, they went, uh, they, they need to solve that. And the solution for that is, um, it, it, you know, we're going to force everybody to get a vaccine and then we don't have to stop you in the street because everybody will have to have a vaccine. I guess they'll tattoo it into their foreheads. Uh, you walk around with a tattoo that says, yes, I'm vaccinated. I'm, I'm okay. Um, it's just, it truly is unbelievable. Uh, what the Austrians are doing. It's, um, uh, it, it's super surprising. Um, you know, it, 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 uh, it, it, it's going to be interesting how people interpret it. Uh, the Germans might do the same. There's talk in Germany about mandating vaccines. Um, what other countries in Europe, what they've done here in Puerto Rico, um, is instead of mandating you get vaccinated, they've made it very difficult for you if you're unvaccinated. So, for example, uh, you know, uh, in, in France, you have to have a vaccine passport to go into restaurants, to go into stores, to go into public areas. And basically, vaccination rates went way up because once you forced people to, once you uh, required it at the, Fed, at the government level, people were incentivized to get the vaccine whether they, whether they wanted to or not. Um, and I, I mean, the world's gone nuts. It's gone pretty, and, and if you look at the stats, uh, I think I think Matt was saying this. I mean, um, if you are vaccinated, your probability of dying from this is is the flu, less than the flu, even for old people. This is not, you know, if you're vaccinated, you're fairly protected. The vaccine diminishes over time. The effectiveness of the vaccine diminishes over time. So you get a booster. You probably have to get a booster every year. That's just, you know, it's another it's another flu for those who are vaccinated. Uh, for the, and, and there's also reason to believe that over time, COVID will become less deadly. Um, for, if you're unvaccinated, maybe you get sicker. You know, okay, so that's your problem. Why, why is it any of our problem, right? So um, it, it, unfortunately, it turns out the vaccinated people get COVID. Unfortunately, it turns out that vaccinated people can infect other people with COVID. Uh, at a lower rate than unvaccinated, but they still can. Um, so uh, the whole thing is a, is a mess. It's a mess because of the communication. It's a mess because people don't understand data. It's a mess, which I've been saying from day one, it's a mess uh, because the state wants to impose zero risk on all of us. Uh, are they going to mandate that we get the booster every single year? Uh, there's no end to it, and and what they but the, what they learned from last year, from the lockdowns last year, is that they can get away with anything, and uh, that we would roll over. Now there are major demonstrations in Europe right now. I, I was I just read a headline from the Netherlands, from from Holland, yesterday, um, and I and I haven't read the story, so I don't know what the what the details are, but uh, that there were demonstrations and the police were shooting people. So I don't know if they were using live bullets or rubber bullets, but at least in, it, you know, it sounds like the Netherlands, they know how to break up a, uh, a riot. But uh, this was a demonstration about not, not accepting lockdowns. As finally, people are starting to wake up to the need to, to resist lockdowns. And, uh, and it's becoming violent. And I think if, if Germany mandates this, there's a huge segment of the German population that is going to uh, demonstrate and riot. It's also, of course, very politicized. The, the right in Germany, the anti-vax right is, is, is pretty, uh, you know, is, is filled with all kinds of characters on the right over there. So you get this mixture of, you have to be careful when you're, when you're anti-vax mandates because then you might be associated with some crazies on the right. It's all, you know, it's so politicized and so messy and so anti-non-scientific and so authoritarian and so statist that the whole thing 
is a mess and a disaster. Uh, there's going to be more and more. Um, uh, there are going to be more and more uh, demonstrations. There are going to be more and more uh, uh, conflicts and um, and uh, standoffs uh, in Europe. And it'll be very interesting. I mean, uh, to see how this all pans out. One of the interesting things about Austria is, if I'm not mistaken, and and maybe I am, but I don't think I am, is that the government in Austria is a right wing government. This is not. You know, and, and, and I wonder how people are going to explain this as a left wing conspiracy, that the whole COVID thing was a left wing conspiracy. So many people in, on, on, in the right and the U.S. believe that somehow uh, lockdowns, mandates, vaccines and everything were a left wing conspiracy. Then how come the right in Austria, of all places, is is about to, to inflict uh, is the, is the mandate? So it's just. Um, it's just bizarre, right? Um, yeah, but you're wrong. Don't underestimate how um, people can twist things around to support their conspiracy theory. For example, one thing popped into my head, the right's clearly been infiltrated by the left in yeah, Austria. Yeah. That's yeah. what's going on. They're, they're, it's all just the left now. Yep. So the, that just proves how effective this conspiracy really is. The fact that now a right-wing government is doing things associated with a left-wing conspiracy. There you, you go. Could, yeah, yeah. See, see. But you see, this is yes, and but but you know the the, the contradictions are, are beautiful though because, um, you know, one of the most admired figures among the right today, uh, and particularly the conspiracy theory right, is uh, Orban, the president of Hungary, um, <laughs> and and the Hungarian right because he has shut down the media, he shut down the left, he shut down everything, he closed the border to to these you know, to Muslim immigration. He's the hero of Tucker Carlson and many on the right. And Hungary's had lockdowns, uh, vaccine mandates, um, uh, you know, all, all these things. So I, I, I wonder how they, but you're right. They always find a way around it. it you know, Orban is confused on this issue. This, he's got some leftist advisor or, or he's trying to manipulate the left. He's out lefting the left, you know, to, I, you know who knows? Yeah. Yeah, we could yeah. we could really contort our brains to find ways in which uh, our conspiracy theories can justify uh, what they've come up with. And Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.